What is this bag of building waste? Got to do with this. That's a fully recycled composite radiator. And this is the Everything Electric Show. If you like the Everything Electric Show, you will love our Everything Electric exhibitions around the world. Next up, Everything Electric Australia. And Everything Electric London. Get your tickets today. The future of heating will require a range of different technologies. And today we're featuring something a bit different on the channel, a composite radiator. The radiators are low wattage and cost effective to run and made from a high percentage of recycled materials. We're a small family run business based in Yorkshire and we've specialised in luxury concrete products for the last few years. So these are concrete basins and our baths. We're stepping away from the use of concrete in our business name purely because we're now using 91% waste and recycled materials. We're using a minimal amount of new cement in there. We're just using the bare necessities just to make it a little bit more of a carbon neutral product. We want something that's made to last. We're avoiding things going to landfill and at the end of their life cycle, they can be recycled again back in to be repurposed. So let's talk radiators, clearly an important part of so many people's homes. And typically they're made from materials such as steel, aluminium and copper. Now whilst these materials have a lot of advantages, they also have a significant environmental impact owing to how they're manufactured and ultimately disposed. Now these radiators have been designed to have a much, much lower environmental impact because they're made from recycled materials and are super, super efficient. Now they are a bit of a premium product, which means that they come at a bit of a higher price. We don't have exact details on that just yet, but do watch this space. But owing to how low the cost per use is, it means that payback period is pretty jammy. So the smallest, the, the little 150 watt, you're looking at about from 3p an hour to run. If you have solar panel or even wind, wind turbine power in your home, um, the cost, it's just not there. They, they pay for themselves, um, which is great. And even our larger one, that's a 600 watt. So that's like having a smart TV on. Again, you, you can have it running and not really notice. So how does a concrete radiator differ from a traditional radiator? In simple terms, thermal mass is the ability of a material to absorb, store and release heat. Concrete has a high thermal mass, resulting in homes and buildings having more stable temperatures. So I take it then, and this is the mixer for the material, is that what, is this where you mix yeah, it Yeah, this is the, the pan mixer, or shear mixer if you want to call it. Um, this is what we use for all of our casting, all of our concrete. Right. We used to use a little one, obviously, but it's just not big enough. Right. This one, obviously, we could we could double or triple the size, and be you know we just really do need a bigger one now. Yeah. Um, obviously, it does about 160 kilos, which is this, luckily the same as our bath, so we can do the right. bath in one part. Oh, so that's one big mix in there. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. The bath. That's amazing. Fill right. up to the brim, and the, the the beauty of this mixer is you can watch, you can actually watch the actual mix and get it to the, fl the flow you really want. And then all the electronics in the in the radiators are essentially embedded. moulded, embedded into Yeah, it. they're encapsulated inside. Right. So through our testing, the, um, we found that the, we've, you know, we've had no problems with any of the cracking, anything like that. There's extra reinforcement in there on top of it. And we believe that uh, we can get 50 years plus out of the radiators quite easily. Right, and but then it can be fully recycled back into, we can use all the aggregates and stuff back into a radiator at the yeah. end of it. But that is amazing that a piece of electronics could last even 50 years is remarkable yeah, when you yeah. think of how quickly we consume electronics now. It's exactly, A couple of yeah. years here and there, isn't that it? That was kind of part of the reason as well when we came into it. I wanted to make something that would last f for a very long time. Yeah. And with everything, generally with the um, electric heaters, after about 15 years, I think they become less efficient because whether it's because they become oxidised on the elements or they right. get dusted up, because everything's encapsulated inside, there's no degradation. There's yeah. no there's no performance reduction over the, yeah. over the over the over the time. Please support our Stop Burning Stuff Patreon and help us to tackle misinformation about electric vehicles and clean energy. 
we'll be supplying them with smart technology. So you'll be able to run them off an app. You'll be able to run them just on a general thermostat setting in your home. Our smallest one, which you can see here, is 150 watt. And currently our largest models are 600 watts. And these are emitting temperatures of about over 60 degrees. So they are safe in homes. Um, they're also water safe and fire safe as well, which is an added feature. Um, we've got young children and the last thing we'd want is be to accidentally leave an unsafe heater on in the bedroom or anywhere in the house. So that were really important to us to make them as safe as they can be. This is well, this is one of the first ones we started off with actually. Right. Our first prototype. So I should just show it's got a wire. <laughs> yeah, just a cable on the back. Um, so that's got the elements in it, and that's just it's so smooth as well. I don't know why I, th I think I thought, oh, concrete's gonna be really rough. rough yeah, I think it's, it's like it's all to do with it. Everyone thinks it's to do with our mix, it's not it's more to do with the actual mold you have. So whatever right. mold you you know, the sort of form you pour it into is it, what it will that. come out. Yes. Yeah. So at yeah. the beginning when we had this, we were only getting ready and we got no convectional heat whatsoever. Uh, you could put your hand, you know, just above you, you could feel nothing. Oh, wow. And obviously now with the you get the radiant heat, you can feel it at the other actually about four meters, three, four yeah. meters away. I mean, it's just, I mean, the thing is, what I think, and I've seen this so many times, is, is the genius, like all the stuff, which I totally understand you don't want to show generally because it's still in development, but the genius of what you've developed. And, and I can sort of, when I see it, I can sort of see your thinking. I couldn't do it, but I, when, as soon as I see it, I go, oh, of course, that's the yeah. way to do it. And that is just brilliant. And it's, I've, we've seen so much of that in this country that of really brilliant new inventions. And this, yeah. I mean, I don't know if, as far as I know, no one else is doing this. No one else has no, done that it. I, I've not seen anybody. I no. think we're the first, especially in the radiator side of things and with our designs, I think we are the first, hopefully the first yeah. in the world. It's pretty much a plug and play. Um, you would need an electrician to wire them in with a smart technology. And these can be retrofitted anywhere in your home. They can be fitted um, to replace existing heating or to be used alongside your existing heating so they can complement any area. Here on the Everything Electric Show, we love to feature new and innovative low carbon heating solutions. And Andy and Claire have shown us an amazing example of what can be done with some recycled waste and some creativity. And if you enjoyed this episode, do make sure to check out the ones you can see on screen now. And as always, if you have been, thank you for watching. <laughs>